Let's draw the Lewis structure for I3 minus. This is the triiodide ion. So the first thing we do with Lewis structures, we count the number of valence electrons. The periodic table, that can help us do that. So we find iodine, that's right here. It's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. All of these have seven valence electrons. We have three iodine atoms. And this negative, that means we have an extra negative charge, an extra electron. So we need to add one more valence electron. That gives us 21 plus 1, 22 total valence electrons for the I3 minus Lewis structure. So we'll put three iodines up here. And then we're going to put two electrons between each of the iodines. And that's going to form our chemical bond. So we put two electrons between each iodine. We've used four valence electrons. Now we're going to go around the outside atoms here, the iodines on the outside, and complete their octets. So the iodines on the outside have an octet. Now let's complete the octet on that iodine on the inside. The thing is, we've only used 20 valence electrons. Remember, we have 22 total valence electrons for I3 minus. So what we need to do, we can put another pair of electrons right here on this central iodine. Iodine can have more than eight valence electrons. We call that an expanded octet. So now this iodine has eight, this iodine has eight, and then the one in the center, that has 10, but that's okay, iodine can have an expanded octet. Because we have an ion, we should put brackets around this. And we can put a negative sign out here to show that we have an ion with a negative one charge. So this is the Lewis structure for I3 minus the triiodide ion. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.